think tomorrow, isn't it? Some people are using this particular model to, mo to, to model fluid structure interaction, like this sort of interaction of the fluid with structures and that sort of thing from Tsinghua University and University of Washington. Here's a collapse simulation of my, my professor Ken Camry on MIT looking at the steel ball being penetrated into the sand at different angles. I don't know why he's using, doing this, but then the point is that different angle penetration, you can see how the ball is going upwards if it penetrates at certain angle in the soil. So he uses soil mechanics to model this particular problem. You can also think about wheel soil interaction. So this is a work in terms of wheel interacting with more cool on soil model. And then this is uh, Ken Cameron's work showing how the wheels are propagating and then moving around and then doing this kind of interaction modeling. Of course, we'd be interested in modeling as a geotechnical engineer like this 2014 also landslide, which sled in 2014 and unfortunately killed many people on the sort of a, uh, the, the downstream side. And if I have time, I'll talk about it. I'm not sure I have time today, but then maybe I'll give this particular case uh, in 270 class. And perhaps Professor Bray also can give his version uh, in this class too. But important thing to remember is that this is quite interesting. You can see a blocky features here. So there's a sliding plane, but then also it rubbles and then fluidizes in a certain way. So there's a lot of interesting mechanisms happening in this particular also landslide. We may be interested in river levee failures because levee do fail sometimes, as you see in the uh, New Orleans case.